the YouTuber Repo Man 64. Uh, I might sneeze and cough during this video. I've been wiped out for the past few days. I just got my voice back today. And uh, I came on here because the date has passed. And we're going to continue to watch and look forward to the next date. And uh, something came up. And every time something comes up, I want to point it out as to uh, what we're seeing. And um, the Lord's going to come and take us when he comes to take us. It is going to happen. These calendars have been messed with so much. Times have been messed with so much. There's even a verse in the Bible that says that uh, they thought to change times and seasons. And they've done that. And as a result, we are all scrambling. All the watchers are trying to figure this out. And uh, we're going to continue to uh, do this. I haven't even shaved, and I've just been a mess the past, the whole weekend I, I was in bed. It was, I couldn't, I couldn't move. It was bad. I think it's just the cold, a cold, common cold, but uh, man, that thing wiped me out. All right, let's get to the pictures. Sorry about all the sniffling. Uh, where are the pictures at? Over here. All right. So, where are we at right now on the Enoch timeline? We know that the last Sabbath of the year is on March the 16th. This year, on the Gregorian calendar, that will fall on every Thursday. Remember all of the dreams of people thinking that uh, we would be raptured on a Thursday. Uh which I found pretty interesting next year, the Sabbath uh, on March the 16th will begin to fall on a Saturday. So, but we'll keep watching and trying to figure this out. Uh, ahead of the year, March 17th, this calendar never changes. It always starts on the equal lux, the day of equal parts, the day Jesus said, are there not 12 hours in the day? The day that Lazarus died, March 16th, the following day being the uh, New Year, um, St. Patrick's Day. Um, if you start the year on any other date other than March the 17th, Jesus, remember, when he came to this planet, and he came here as a human, and gave up his Godhead, his rightful place at the right hand of the Father, he did not do that when he was born. He did that when he was conceived of in Mary, in the womb of Mary. And that happened, if you count the days, on day 284 of the year, starting at March 17th, you land on Christmas Day. Um, the day that Mary traveled to see her cousin Elizabeth and John leapt in the womb is a seven-day period, which also... The egg will attach itself to the uterine wall on the seventh day, and that happens on New Year's Day. So if you start the calendar on any other day, and I'm still convinced that this is when we start the calendar. When we start the calendar, what happens is Jesus goes to the cross on March the 30th. Now, that is not to say that God might be adhering to another calendar. This is when it happened. Jesus went to the cross on March the 30th, 30 AD, and gave up the ghost at 3 p.m. Um, again, it's not to say that some other timeline is not in use, or God will use another timeline to bring the Jews to jealousy. So I wanted to show you that, and then we're going to go on further. Yes, this keeps happening on March the 30th. That that happened. Now, en oops, end times, end time dreams and uh, no, what is it? Not end time dreams and vision. <laughs> of course, that's a good U YouTube to watch. But uh, this is end time studies, end time dash studies dot com. She puts uh, everyone's calendar on here, and as you can see, she's put all the calendars down there at the bottom. Now. The day Jesus went to the cross for the equalux is March 30th. That says it down here. If you were using the equinox, the day the sun crosses the equator would be April the 3rd. If you were using the first sliver of the moon after the sun crossed the equator for the equinox, it would be April the 5th. 
the creator's calendar where they use the full moon will be April the 19th. And notice this year over last year's uh, five timelines, um, the creator's calendar and the first sliver of the moon after the sun is in Aries has switched places. Now Aries, the first sliver of the moon after the sun is in Aries, the cross will not happen for that timeline until May 4th. So I wanted to show you that just to, to, to show every timeline. Now look up here on March the 16th is the last Sabbath of the year. The following week, on March the 23rd, it is the next Sabbath. Not only is it a Sabbath for the Jews, it is also the head of their year. Remember on the 22nd, they had cloud cover. They should have easily verified the, the first sliver of the moon on the 22nd, but they could not because they had cloud cover. So, they recognized it on the 23rd, one week later. For the Enoch timeline, Jesus goes to the cross on the 30th. The 17th for uh, the Enoch timeline is the head of the year. So the 30th, 14 days later, would be when he went to the cross. If the head of the year is on the 23rd, 14 days later, on the 5th, at nightfall, becoming the 6th, Jesus was went to the cross on the 6th. Remember, he celebrated, uh, celebrated Passover that night. Uh, they took him that night. They held him that night. And the next morning, 9 a.m., they crucified him, beat him and crucified him. Now, if we go forward, and I guess I didn't take a very good picture here. I did not. Um, if we go forward, down there at the bottom, halfway covered, is the 20th. It is is a Sabbath as well. How many days is the 20th after we think, or after the Enoch timeline shows that Jesus was crucified? He was crucified on the 30th, so the 20th would be 21 days later. Um, if it is using the 23rd as the head of the year, and the 5th, the 20th would be 14 days later. Sorry about all the sniffling again. I found this, which I thought was interesting. A lot of people are posting their things about, they post them every time a holiday comes up, about bunny rabbits and eggs and, and uh, you know, worshiping, the, you know, uh, why they worship this day. Remember, every day that was created was created by God himself. 365 days was created by God himself. He gave each day an important Satan is the one that tried to cloud the day for his own purpose but it's the same scenario that we see and that we always say is you tell somebody to go and make a table they go off and they start to cut a tree down God says now hold on a second first you must create a tree before you can make that table they are changing these dates for their own purpose. They cannot make that table without God's tree. God created the tree. You cannot create something. You must. We can only make things. It's already been created. Everything that we make has been created. So, here in the Bible, King James Version, you will notice in Acts 12.4, the word Easter is used. So, I read this passage, and another thing jumps out at me. It says, in prison, and delivered him to four quaternions. I hope I'm saying that right. Quaternions of soldiers. And I'm like, what is a quaternion? So I looked it up. Quaternions are an alternate way to describe orientation or rotations in 3D space using an ordered set of four numbers. They have the ability to uniquely describe any three-dimensional rotation about an arbitrary axis and do not suffer from gimbal lock. Somebody out there way smarter than me knows what that means, but to me, when I read it, it appears to show... 
like other channels are showing the um, constellation as a huge clock and it's perfect and there is no mistake in it and so that passage right there would show order and who gives order god gives order satan gives disorder god gives order and and again every single day of the year god made it so let me go back to the pictures that's for sorry i can barely talk now my voice is uh breaking up all right so we have this and again this is out oh, above my pay grade but i find it awesome that our bible talks about this and i've never heard anyone um explain this and perhaps somebody you know that understands this stuff could uh, make a video explaining what that means but to me it means order and there's no way to disorder this and it kind of looks like honestly it kind of looks like um the upper left picture kind of looks like uh what's his uh um i'm gonna forget his youtube he's awesome uh what, what in the world is it uh and yeah, i'm gonna forget his youtube i wonder if i could that's not cool oh uh is it suspicious by nature paranoid pa pa hold on a second i almost got it it's uh uh something by nature it's a supernatural supernatural by design <laughs> supernatural by design his youtube's awesome and that kind of looks like uh what he looks at up there in the upper left um when he does his uh map thingy so this still keeps happening that was on my television uh when it goes to the uh the home screen where it just kind of you know screen saves that's one of the uh pictures that came up it was 55 degrees outside and it was 11 11 so i thought that was uh again pretty cool and yeah still keeps happening give him a shout out <laughs> I'm not going to make a long video. Okay, so We Are the Overcomers made a video about who the bridesmaids are. And it's worth going back. He streamed this, I think it's five weeks ago. Um, go or now uh, on his channel, he does all of his stuff live. So if you go in there, his home uh, his, or his videos is going to show that his last video, I think, was three months ago. Uh, hit the live tab and you see all of his most recent stuff. And I believe this one, the Wise Bridesmaids, Holy Spirit, Double Portion. I think that's the one, uh, Wayne, I believe. Um, that's the one he talked about, the 10 Bridesmaids. And he makes a comment, and this blows my mind, because iron sharpens iron, and we all can learn, and forever, and I mean forever, I have thought the five virgins with oil were the bride, and the five virgins without were the Jew. But in every story that you discuss, or every scenario in the Bible that is shown, will always show the barley, then it will show the wheat. The wheat always goes through the tribulum. It always goes through tribulation. The wheat is not only the sleepy church, it is also the Jew, uh, because it shows you how it goes through a process. And even Wayne here talks about there being three raptures, I believe. And I don't want to speak out of turn 100% because I watch so many videos, I get them confused, but I believe Wayne believes in three raptures. And <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, I might not be able to talk too much longer. He believes in three raptures. And uh, so, uh, back to what he was discussing, the five bridesmaids with oil. But you'll notice that the bridegroom shows up. He, can, he is called a groom until he is with his bride. When he is with his bride, he is called a bridegroom. When the bridegroom shows up, the bridegroom takes the five virgins with oil and leaves the five behind. What he took was the sleepy church. The proximity of the rapture of the bride and the rapture of the saints, I believe, is very, very close. In every story, you do not see a big time frame including in revelation between the bride 
I might not be able to do this much longer. Between the bride being taken and the uh, saint, uh, the, this tribulation saint <coughs> being taken, <coughs> I might not be able to continue. Anyway, he's called a bridesmaid. I'm sorry, he's called a... Um, a uh, uh, what is he called? He's called a... Uh, yeah, I'm going to lose my train of thought. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done this video. Anyway, uh, groomsman, grooms, grooms, bride, bride's groom, bride's groom. He's called this because he has returned to get the five. And we know that they are all, none of them are the bride because they all fell asleep. They all fell asleep. And so... That is the perfect picture of the saints of the tribulation. They fell asleep. They uh, counted on their own works to make them into heaven. It will take them, just like uh, Elisha, about two seconds after Elijah is taken. Elisha is tearing off his clothes and accepting the mantle that Elijah has thrown down to him. And he puts it on or he strikes the water. He crosses the water and he puts on it. It is literally minutes it is in no time at all and i cannot find a single story in the bible that tells me it's three and a half years after the bride is taken so um go watch his video he does a very good job explaining this uh much better than i just did i'm not even going to attempt to say this guy's name uh i believe he is and then i'm going to get into trouble but i believe he is german I believe that uh, every now and again he comes out with an English version video and he does a very good job. I uh, have watched every English version video he's put out. They're only about 15 minutes long and they're packed with information. I heart Yeshua, the same thing. She is working on um, Fibonacci or the, uh, the the circle there where it, it grows. What are they? There's another word for Fibonacci. Um I'm not going to remember the word because I don't use the word at all, but it's a progression of numbers that uh, added to them. The sum of added to itself is the number that you come up to next, and uh, she does an awesome job on her. But she only has 1.76 subscribers. It would be nice to get these channels to grow so that perhaps one of us will make it through this rapture event and help these saints quickly. <clears throat> just like Elisha was helped instantly. If you see me go, that's what Elijah said to Elisha. The prophets standing back saw the event take place, but they didn't know what happened. A lot of people are going to, of course, or everyone's going to see this rapture event. But just like the 50 prophets that stood back, they had no idea what actually took place. They believed in whatever other scenario. And we know this is true because they sent out search parties to find the body of Elijah. Elisha knew what happened. He put on that cloak after he struck the water and crossed. <coughs> and he knew what happened. Oh, man. I hope I can keep going here. Oh, this guy, Dr. Barry. Oh, they just had the most unbelievable, he just made the most unbelievable video with uh, Prophetic Watchman 88, um, Peter over there. So they, these guys, uh, they had a lot of fun making it. Uh, I think Peter, I think uh, Prophetic Watchman 88 might be the one that put it up. And um, Dr. Barry does not need my help in any kind of way for subscribers, but he... Uh, He's an awesome, I mean, he's awesome, and so is Prophetic Watchman 88, both of them. I don't know that I, yeah, I didn't do it. Sorry, Peter, I didn't take a picture. But Prophetic Watchman 88, uh, go subscribe to his channel and Dr. Barry's. Obviously, he's a really good teacher. <coughs> <coughs> I am so sorry. I thought I could do this. All right, this is where the sun in relation to Jupiter was in 30 AD when I believe or the Enoch timeline says that Jesus went to the cross. On this day, Jupiter and the sun were both in Pisces. <coughs> this event takes place again, only this time we have an extremely rare 
um, eclipse that is going to take place. One eclipse that literally no one talks about because the one they talk about is going to happen in uh, 2024. This one I've only recently begun to hear about. Notice that Jupiter and the Sun, again, are in Pisces, but the Moon is there this time in this rare, uh, very rare uh, eclipse event. And I want you to notice the date up there. How many days, if this were 2023, how many days is it from March 30th to April 20th? I'll wait. Yep, you're right, it's 21 days, 21 days. And behold, and the hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hand. So, it, so a hand has touched this guy, um, Daniel, and uh, it set him down on his knees and the palms of his hands. Set, set him down on his knees and his hands. And he said unto me, O oh, Daniel, this is an angel. <coughs> oh, I'm going to try to get through this. Sorry. And he said unto me, O oh, Daniel, a man greatly beloved. So we know Daniel is beloved, and the angel knows this. I believe all of the angels know all of us that are a bride and a saint. And they were, we were foreknown, like the Bible does tell us. And when these angels come to visit us and to send us dreams, visions, numbers, the number 1111, um, insight, you're reading the Bible and all of a sudden something just jumps out at you that you've read a thousand times, but you never saw it before until now. These are all God nudges. These are all angels that are around you that you can't see because it's a different dimension, which is what I was speak trying to explain earlier with that uh, word that I couldn't describe about the, the third, the, the, you know, the things of three dimensions and how constant they are. They are as here right now as you and I are here right now, standing here. They are in the room with you. They are all around you. <coughs> they are with you. <laughs> I'm going to try to get through this. They are with you. Oh, it's getting hot. They are with you. They are all around you. They are not going anywhere. You can't scare them away. Um, don't add anything to that, uh, to... Uh, the terrible things you've already done and the terrible things I've already done. Don't add anything more to it. You've been forgiven. Remember that. Um, that is the point. I, Dr. Barry did a very good job, honestly, explaining salvation. And it is it it is more than just, I say, go to a quiet place by yourself. Nobody needs to know. And you don't need to tell anybody. And accept the Lord in your heart. When I say that, and I mean it, I say that this these angels that are around you know the date, the very date that you're going to do that, that you were loved from before the foundations of the world, and they knew what date you were going to do that. And something in your heart drives you, and then after you've done it, something in your heart tells you every single time. You don't laugh about sin. You don't talk about how drunk you got the week before or what conquest you had or how much money you stole or how you got over on the... the uh, the guy at the cash, you know, the, at the cash register, and how you uh, got twenty bucks back. You know, uh, I became a Christian a long time ago, and I'll tell you what, I have had many a mistake of somebody handing me back change for a hundred when I had given them twenty, and I have never taken that money. Ever since I've been saved, before that, I thought it was funny. After that, I couldn't stand it. And promise you, if you if you take 10%, God will take back a hundred of that, a hundredfold. So, um, but something happens in your heart. I'm not saying it's as easy as going to a quiet place. And I'm saying that, that John 6, 44, where you go? Oh, there you are. I'm saying John 6, 44, know that if you're going there to accept the Lord in your heart, you didn't go there under your own power. You went in there because God called you. John 6, 4, 4. Nobody comes to the Father lest the Father draw him. I went into church. It was a Calvary church. I had never been in it before. It was a Sunday. It was November the 20th, 1994. Uh, this work had been stirring in me for years. I was even looking at 1988, 88 Reasons for 88. I just started really uh, looking at that. But on November the 20th, 
<coughs> I went into this church, never been there before, never went back again. And he had an altar call, and I walked up, and and I stood there. They took us all into a back room, and they said, you guys have made an awesome choice. And I said, oh, I didn't make a choice. I was drawn here. He said, well, yeah, but you still walked up. I said, I didn't walk up. I was told to come up here. And he could not, for the life of him, he could not, for the life of him, understand. See, I had been studying, and I knew, I knew that when I made that walk, or I did the baptism thing, or I did anything, it was a drawing of the Lord doing it. And <clears throat> so when I say, like I said, go to a quiet place, you're going in there because you're drawn in there. And know this, once you go in there, and once you've been drawn in there, you you feel that change. It never goes away. 1994 was a long time ago. Um, it never goes away. It, it stays with you. It never, it never leaves you. So, and you get stronger and stronger and stronger to the point where nothing can come up against you. I'm sure things, something, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sure something can, but of course, you know, uh, Satan wants to do something. He's going to do something, but I'm not going to purposely go off and do anything. Not perfect. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying over time, you'll see the difference. And that's what I was talking about. Uh, Dr. Barry's video was very good in explaining that, that you just don't mumble some words and you're magically, there's some kind of magic potion and you're magically saved. That's not how it works. It is a, it is John 6, 44. If you're there, it's because God called you. And if you try to explain it to somebody like I did uh, at uh, this Calvary Chapel, they could not fathom what I was saying. And I was brand new. And I, <laughs> I already knew more than them, which was, I thought was a, uh, which was weird. I thought that was strange that they didn't understand that I wasn't there under my own accord. I was there because I was drawn there, that I went to there because I was told to go there, and I knew that I had to make an outward expression of what I already had going on in my heart. <clears throat> See, we were saved before the foundations of the world. We weren't saved at, on. Um, I wasn't saved on November 20th, uh, 1994. I was saved long before the foundations of the world. God knew when this was going to happen. He knew the time that this was going to happen. Anyway, let me get back to uh, the pictures. All right. I want you to notice something that I read in here. And behold, a hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the, uh, upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. And he said unto me, Fear not, Daniel. For from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days, one in 20 days, withstood me 21 days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princesses, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days. Do you think the moment of the rapture, somebody is going to understand what happened? 21 days. From the date Jesus went to the cross in 30 AD, it's been 1,993 years since he went to the cross to April 20th and 21 days. Jupiter, the sun, in Pisces. This time we have the the uh, the the moon with um, uh, eclipsing the sun. Let me go back here and show you something real quick. What date does the year start 
if you adhere to the first sliver of the moon after the sun is in Aries, like, um, man, I really got to write these names down because I get on here and I draw a complete blank. Uh, he's just as awesome with his videos. Love his videos, too. Um, anyway, I'll remember in a moment. He is looking at April 21st as the head of the year. That is what? That's 22 days. So the 21st day would be the Sabbath. April 21st. So the 20th. I'm sorry, I said that backwards. The 20th would be the Sabbath. You see it down there at the bottom. On the 20th is when the sun is eclipsed by the moon. Let me go back here where I was. Oof, I read that. Oh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Raw Repent, uh, as well, is looking at um, the rapture on the last day of 20. He's saying the last day of 2022, if you use the first sliver of the moon after the sun is in Aries, the last day of the year would be right here, where I showed you the sun eclipsed by the moon. Oh, I got a better picture. The 16th being Thursday, the Sabbath, the 23rd being the head of the year for the Jews because they saw the first sliver of the moon after the equinox. Also a Sabbath, a Thursday. The 30th, when Jesus went to the cross on the Enoch timeline. Also a Thursday. The 6th, when the Jews uh, uh, call start Passover on the 6th. A Sabbath, um, Easter landing on Technically, it's a Sunday, but in order to get the 72 hours for Jesus in the grave, remember, you don't count the first day because he was taken off the cross at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You don't count the uh, fourth day because this night, he rose before sunrise. That night does not count. Jesus would have fulfilled this event 100%. 100%. He would have fulfilled it. So he spent exactly 72 hours in the grave uh, in, in Hades, uh, leading captivity captive. The 13th, and one week later, 21 days later, after the cross, exactly, we have an eclipse on the 20th, April the 20th. So, I wanted to quickly point that out. Supernatural by design, and the other one, I wonder if I could look at this while I'm on, uh, let me see something here. Uh, look at all those comments. I haven't had time, I'm sorry, I've been sick. I haven't had time to get to the comments. Uh, you see all the people I subscribe to. Ricardo Garcia has, is he the one? He might be the one actually that has that uh, map that I was talking about. He's a uh, very good. Um, I can't believe this is actually showing me. I'll find it. Yeah, I watch all of these people's videos. I spend a lot of time watching videos. I want to learn as much as I possibly can from all of these people. They're fantastic. Prophetic Watchmen 80. Supernatural by Design. That's the, the one that I was trying to, to, to get around and tell you about. In, Informed Christians, I just started subscribing to him. Um, Dr. Barry, uh, just found that guy a couple days ago. No, I'm kidding. I've been subscribed to him since he started. Uh, we are the overcomers. The cataclysm, Tony Early, there he is. Um, I can't find him. I can't find him. What is his, uh, looking up. She's, she has that Facebook as well. I heard Jesus. I told you about her. Ecro Symphony, she does great stuff. Isaiah 53, stop yelling at me. He does, uh, he does really good. Um, I think it's Patrick. Is it Patrick over at Hourly Watch? Sabine Vlamming, she's awesome. Oh, can't believe this is letting me do this when I'm on airplane mode. But I'll take it. Off Grid Desert Farming just got kicked off. I can't even believe that. They just kicked him off completely. Started another one. Let's see here. Jeffrey McGaha. I'm sure most of you subscribe to, to most of these channels right here. Uh, 
uh, Todd Rush, uh, Rushton, he's cool. I like watching his channel. Um, uh, 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 I can't find him. I can't find him. Glass Darkly, I haven't heard a video from her in a minute. Christy Winland. Colleen, everybody loves Colleen. She's on uh, Discord, by the way. I'll put a link. Colleen uh, is in Discord. Worship and watch. Woo! Uh, let's see here. Daughter of the King. Um, ministry revealed. God's roadmap to the end. I can't find it. I cannot. I must have skipped it and I didn't see it. Gevti, he's awesome. Robert Breaker, he's down at the bottom, but he's the best. The Return of the King. Um, yeah, I can't uh, I can't find it. But anyway, you saw the whole list. He's in there somewhere. I'm subscribed to over 200 people, and I just uh, live on YouTube. So I learned so much from all you guys. And I just want to say, before we, <coughs> before we get raptured, I want to tell everybody who's spent all their time and uh, energy researching the Bible, not just for yourselves, but all the work you did to teach all of us so much, Dr. Barry, all you big hitters like uh, like you have been, um, just the research you all have done to try to figure this out for unselfish reasons. Nobody is saying that I'm right and I'm right and you're wrong and you shouldn't be. Nobody should ever do that. We're all trying to figure it out. It's been fun. It's been an awesome trip. I've learned so much. Uh, just kernels or nuggets of information that, that come up when somebody's trying to figure something out. And I'm like, you know, that's awesome. Like that word I found in the passage, uh, the video, I, the, the uh, I can't remember, 12-4. I, I showed it to you earlier. You saw it earlier. Go back and watch it where the word Easter is mentioned. Then I find this other word, and I'm like, what's that word mean? So it's just stuff like that. We just kind of lead each other into this stuff. So, all right, I'm going to go take some medicine. I am beat down. Thank you again to everybody who's watched. I think this is about it. I think we're about to go home. Um, if we're not, we're just going to keep watching, try to figure it out. Um, nobody's doing it for any other purpose than trying to... Um, I do it because if I say something and I get these comments and say, hey, look at this. I'm like, whoa, that's incredible. And uh, so we're all just iron sharpens iron. That's what we're doing. We're trying to help each other here, we're trying to figure this out. So if this is the last video that I make and we're raptured out of here, I pray for you saints to take that uh, cloak. Uh, if you see me go, take that cloak, put it on, smite the water across it and uh, you'll receive a double portion. And how long you're going to be here, I wish somebody could tell me it's more than six days. I, I cannot see more than six days, but show me something that says the, that the saints will be here. Show me something that says that ark door, that the bride went in and sat at the door of that ark and waited with the door open for seven days. Show me, and, and then, of course, back then, nobody came in because it was all evil and wicked. But now we have, we're in the church age. We're in the age of forgiveness. We're in the age that Jesus paid for. <laughs> so uh, the bride's going to go in, but that door's going to stay open for seven days. And, and I think that uh, when people make the comment, that's not fair, we're all going to be raptured. It's true. We're all going to be raptured. We're not all going to be raptured on the same day. But I think that this, you know... You know, I don't know, is it 10 days? Is it 40 days? Is it, is it, you know, do we go here and we they go when Jesus ascends? I don't know how long it is. I just, I can't wrap my mind around three and a half years. But again, show me, show me where God says, I'm going to divert all my attention back to Jews. Oh, and this great multitude that no man can count. So enormous. I mean, it's gigantinormous, like Hourly Watch says. It's huge. They're going to appear in heaven in the sixth seal. Just, you know, it, Look, John, here. Look, John, over here. Look, John, who are these people, John? I don't know. You're from here. I, don't, I have no idea. Oh, those are the ones who wash their robes white in the blood of Christ on the sixth seal. There's not a lot of time. There's not a lot of stuff that happens between those two points. Not a lot of things happen. So I think that second rapture is really fast, really close to the uh, bride leaving. So uh, do we need a lot of time? Uh, before that occurs, get a banquet, get crowns, mansion, banquet, rod of iron, new robe, beautiful, brilliant white. And then John shows up, witnesses all these things, 
he sees us casting our crowns and then all of a sudden look here look there and all of a sudden they're there so i don't know it's just something to think about maybe somebody has can maybe somebody knows how long this is i'd be curious to know i don't think i'm part of that group i believe i'm part of the bride group but uh i sure would like to know how long it's going to take for them to show up so all right go to a quiet place we already did that um Oh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, especially to those YouTube channels that I showed you. Um, I was going to make a funny comment about Dr. Berry's. Please go subscribe to his. He needs so many more. He's got twice as much as three times as much as I do. So anyway, if you're not subscribed to him, you should be because he has a lot of good content. Um, <coughs> I better get off here before I uh, start shaking because I don't feel so good. All right. We will... Uh, chat with you later and again i'll put a uh link to the uh discord in the comment section all right i'll chat with you again later but i hope not i hope we're gone i don't want to chat with you ever again except until we're in heaven uh laughing this up going what we're here that's the next time i'd really like to talk to you but if not i'll be back here if i find a little gem i'll bring it to you like that 21 days could be we never know. All right, we'll chat with you again later.